Standing on a break wall aiming at a hillside on the outskirts of Yamada, Herman Fritz might look like a surveyor. Actually, he's more like a detective. He's part of a team of 200 experts, hot on the trail of a killer. Those screams belong to 17-year-old Rumi Endo. Using her cell phone, she caught the killer in the act as it wiped out her village. A tsunami. A month later, in an evacuation center, still without electricity, she uses a hand crank generator and plays me the video. I've never imagined anything like it, she told me. I was scared to death. Fritz, a researcher from Georgia Tech University in the States, works alongside a team from the Tokyo University of Marine Science. 6.5 meter above sea level. Using sophisticated measuring and recording devices, they've already learned a lot about the killer tsunami. For instance, there was more than one. 5.5 meters. The waves acted differently in different places. The highest, 38 meters or 125 feet. The furthest inland, six kilometers or nearly four miles. If you were to follow the path of the tsunami in this area as it roared in from the sea, then this is pretty much where it ran out of steam, came to an end, in the mountains. Fritz is still amazed at their power, even if this is his 12th tsunami. He says this was a one in 300, possibly 500, maybe even a thousand year event. You're a scientist, and yet you see all of this around us. I mean, you can't help but be amazed. Well, well, absolutely. I mean, I've seen many tsunamis, but the amount of debris here is, is just unbelievable. Japan, more than any other country in the world, plans and prepares for tsunamis. This massive seawall in Yamada was completed just a short time ago, actually in February of this year. It has these huge steel doors that can be closed when a tsunami approaches to save the city. The problem is the system obviously failed. The new wall held, but the old walls next to it didn't. So what will the data eventually tell Japan about where and how to rebuild? The height of this wall is uh, similar, maybe 6.5 meters. Professor Akio Okayasu likes to talk about hardware and software. Walls are hardware. You could build them higher at great cost, but what's high enough? He thinks software could be key. Software is a way to evacuate. And uh, uh, how can we guide the people to evacuate? Focusing on getting people to higher ground quickly by a wider, numerous, and better planned exit routes would save many lives. Oh, you'd still have ruin, but not the high loss of life. For Japan, the tsunami is a tragedy. For scientists, an opportunity to collect data and crunch the numbers. Another reason these researchers are like detectives. They want to stop the killer. Martin Savage, CNN, Yamada, Japan.